postmodernism is a late 20th century movement in the arts, architecture, and criticism that was a departure from modernism. Postmodernism includes skeptical interpretations of culture, literature, art, philosophy, history, economics, architecture, fiction, and literary criticism. It is often associated with deconstruction and poststructuralism because its usage as a term gained significant popularity at the same time as 20th century poststructural thought. The term postmodernism has been applied to a host of movements, mainly in art, music, and literature, that reacted against tendencies in modernism, and are typically marked by revival of historical elements and techniques. Criticisms of postmodernism are intellectually diverse, including the assertions that postmodernism is meaningless and promotes obscurantism. For example, Noam Chomsky has argued that postmodernism is meaningless because it adds nothing to analytical or empirical knowledge. He asks why postmodernist intellectuals do not respond like people in other fields when asked, what are the principles of their theories, on what evidence are they based, what do they explain that wasn't already obvious, etc., if these requests can't be met, then I'd suggest recourse to Hume's advice in similar circumstances, to the flames, Christian apologist William Lane Craig has noted the idea that we live in a postmodern culture is a myth, in fact, a postmodern culture is an impossibility, it would be utterly unlivable, people are not relativistic when it comes to matters of science, engineering, and technology, rather, they are relativistic and pluralistic in matters of religion and ethics, but, of course, that's not postmodernism, that's modernism. Formal, academic critiques of postmodernism can also be found in works such as Beyond the Hoax and Fashionable Nonsense. However, as for continental philosophy, American academics have tended to label it postmodernist, especially practitioners of French theory. Such a trend might derive from U.S. departments of comparative literature. It is interesting to note that Felix Quadri, often considered a postmodernist, rejected its theoretical assumptions by arguing that the structuralist and postmodernist visions of the world were not flexible enough to seek explanations in psychological, social and environmental domains at the same time.